major land forms of the earth. A land form is the natural feature of rugged, raised land or depressed land like the mountains, hills, valleys and plateaus, etc. These land forms are made by two processes. A. Internal process that operates inside the earth. It leads to the upliftment and sinking of the earth's surface at several places. B. External process that operates on the surface of the earth. It is the continuous wearing down and rebuilding of the earth's surface. The wearing away of the earth's surface is called erosion and rebuilding takes place by the process called deposition. These two processes are carried out by running water, ice and wind. We can group different landforms depending on elevation and slope as mountains, plateaus and plains. Mountains The mountains are the elevated part of the earth which have marked slopes and peaks. A mountain can be defined as any natural elevation of the earth's surface. It is considerably higher than the surrounding area. Mountains vary in size and shape. They are of different height, some are old and some are young. On the basis of their origin, mountains are classified into three main categories. Fold Mountains These mountains are formed by the horizontal forces of compression. Due to compression, the horizontal rock strata crumbles into a series of upward and downward folds called anticlines and synclines respectively. As most of these mountains are formed in the recent period of geological history, they are also called young fold mountains. The Himalayas of India and the Rockies of North America are some examples. The Aravali Range in India is one of the oldest fold mountain systems in the world. Block Mountains Block mountains are created when large areas are widely cracked or broken up by falls and displaced vertically. The uplifted blocks are termed horses and lowered blocks are termed graben. This form of landscape can be seen in Rhine Valley in Europe. Volcanic Mountains Whenever there is an eruption of volcano, the lava comes out and spreads around the volcanic pipe. With the passage of time, the lava solidifies and which gives rise to volcanic mountains. Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa and Mount Fujiyama in Japan are the examples of such mountains. The mountains are a storehouse of water. Many rivers have their source in the glaciers in the mountains. Glaciers are the river of ice and snow, which are the source of water for a large number of major rivers of the world. Water from the mountains is also used for irrigation and generation of hydroelectricity. Mountains have a rich variety of flora and fauna. Various animals, birds and different types of plants find their habitat in mountains. Mountains are ideal locations for tourists also. Tourists visit the mountains for their scenic beauty as well as popular sports like skiing, hand gliding and river rafting. Trivia There are more than 500 active volcanoes in the world. More than half of these volcanoes are part of the Ring of Fire, a region that encircles the Pacific Ocean. Active volcanoes in the US are found mainly in Hawaii, Alaska, California, Oregon and Washington, but the greatest chance of eruptions near areas where many people live is Hawaii and Alaska. Plateaus A plateau is an uplifted landmass with steep sides and relatively flat surface. It rises abruptly from adjoining areas. The most well-known plateaus of the world are comparatively old, though some are new. The height of the plateaus varies from few hundred meters to several thousand meters. The Deccan Plateau in India is one of the oldest plateaus. On the basis of their geographical location, plateaus are of different types. Continental Plateau, which rises abruptly from the adjoining areas. Example, Chota Nagpur Plateau, Intermontane Plateau. They are formed in between the mountain ranges, for example, Tibetan Plateau. 
steep mount plateau. They develop in the foot of the mountains. For example, Patagonia Plateau of Argentina. There may be several waterfalls in the plateau areas. As the river falls from a great height, Jog Falls in Karnataka is an example of such waterfalls. Sometimes plateaus are also found under oceans like Seychelles Plateau. Trivia Coastal plains are a geological features found around the world and on both the eastern and western coasts of India. Coastal plains are characterized by an area of flat low-lying land that is situated adjacent to a water body, often a sea or ocean. It is also noteworthy that coastal plains are separated from the interior of the larger landmass by other unique features. Coastal plains have limited vegetation, however, grasses and trees are not uncommon. The coastal plains of India are relatively expansive regions which contribute significantly to the geography of the region. Plains The flat low-lying area of land is called a plain. Most plains are formed by rivers and their tributaries. The rivers bring sand, silt and clay from higher elevation and deposit the same at lower elevations. The plains formed by the depositional work of running water are called alluvial plains. The Indo-Gangetic plain is an example of alluvial plain. Plains are also formed by the movement of glaciers and wind. Generally, plains are very fertile and support a huge population. No wonder they are very thickly populated regions of the world. Some of the largest plains made by the rivers are found in Asia and North America. High concentration of people in plains is due to availability of land for building houses as well as the fertile area for cultivation of crops. People have been living in all types of landforms since the beginning of their evolution. But a closer look at our history suggests that rivers were the cradles of civilization. As civilizations flourished near river valleys, life is difficult in mountainous areas. It is easier to grow crops, build houses and roads, factories and transport network in a plain than on a mountain. However, people also live in plateaus, forest areas, areas of volcanic eruptions and earthquake-prone areas. In such areas, natural calamities cause great damages and destructions to the life and property of the people. It is important to be vigilant of our environment and to understand the impact of changing climate. We should make sincere efforts to keep the environment clean and cut down the use of resources. We should avoid using such important gifts of nature in a careless manner.